Hi there everybody, welcome to Gharib, South Africa, and this is version 6 of the map. Um, yeah, I just want to quickly make this video and um, make sure that uh, I've shown everything that's changed uh, since I think version 4 was the last video I made. So let's have a quick look around. First things, just quickly uh, get our mini-map away and also our flight state on so we can travel around a bit faster great there you go okay what's changed guys I've uh, added a lot of uh, trees to the map you see I've populated everywhere with nice trees this forest here on the mountain I've fully um, fully completed that forest um, it's fully populated now with trees all nicely um, uh, um, set up for the guys that like the um, forestry and then also I've added uh, to the to the sawmill all the stationary vehicles make it a bit more appropriate you know as a like an industry type of thing um, and then stationary cars um, I've added throughout the whole map to all the places I've added uh, stationary vehicles great just quickly fly here over the hill so yes we've got a lot of trees um, now uh, populating these hills so it, i think it looks much better than like a bare hill you know like in the old days or like in the previous versions rather <laughs> old days <laughs> can you believe it yeah like that it looks much better I, I think great and then the old corner store is obviously a new addition uh, uh one one more cell point that i've added you'll see also that there's um stationary vehicles here uh, the new cell point and it's on the map so it's available for sales there it is um, yes so the other sales cell point was uh, obviously the southern mills as well as the BKB at Gharib good um, and then obviously all the places um, where the cell points are added the, the, the vehicles and that so I think it looks much better you see here like for instance here I've added some vehicles yeah, on this side, just looks a bit better, you know. Um, make a make a map more, a little bit more realistic. <laughs> Good. I hope you like it because uh, oh, it just brings additions to the map that makes it more complete. I would say. Good. And this side, yes, I've added some cars here as you come in. Great. Good. And then uh, fixes I've done to the map. Um, there was a, an issue on. Um, on the farm itself with the with the cell point I've changed this uh, multi storage facility um, that was here on the farm I've changed that to just uh, a nice big large farm silo with extra um, expansion silos and it still gives you two and a half million uh, liters of uh, um, storage um, and then you have this nice big area that's open for vehicles and whatever that you want to park here or even put uh, uh, maybe some vegetables or uh, um, what do you call those things greenhouses or whatever you want to put here maybe some more parking or shaded uh, areas or sheds or whatever yeah. good so that is oh yes and I fixed the water guys look at how beautiful the water is now um, it was one of the, the problems on Kharip was the water I struggled with the water but yeah I finally got it working nicely and this is a very very nice uh, water now working w looking very good yeah so the, the previous water was a bit glossy you know or mirrory it was too mirrory and there wasn't much movement on it but yeah I think this looks stunning um, so yes looking much better now I'm quite happy with that uh, so that was that was it, I think, for changes. When you quickly just think, um, was there anything else that I changed here on the map? No, everything else is exactly as it used to be. Um, yeah, so I just added a lot of cosmetic things like uh, like the trees and the vehicles, and I did that big changes there at the at the um, silos. Oh yes, and one good thing um, which I also added in version five, which I didn't make a video of because um, it wasn't significant enough is I added alfalfa 
it's the um, the green alfalfa and the dried alfalfa and also custom bales for it you'll see if you make alfalfa bales um, it's a custom bale that I've built with little flowers in it so yes <laughs> just to identify it you know or just to see make a difference between the two um, so you can now plant alfalfa and I've removed the, the clover um, the clover I don't know I don't know if you guys enjoy harvesting clover or planting clover but yeah um, it's not really a valuable crop I think the alfalfa is much better um, I rather spent the um, because the clover also uh, needed a, a density map height uh, um, one of the channels I rather use that channel for the alfalfa which is a much better crop um, more more um, usable and more valuable I would say so yes I removed the clover completely and it's now off the map so yes great stuff man well guys thank you for watching um, if you um, haven't subscribed yet please do and uh, like the video and hit the bell it really helps um, the, the channel to grow and to, to prosper so yeah thanks guys for watching and I really hope you guys enjoy the map and the changes like always if there's any anything that um, that is missing or not working nicely please just drop me an email um, just give some feedback via email don't do a comment on the download sites because yeah I don't really spend a lot of time there the best way is just to email me straight so I can know about it great man thanks guys um, have a wonderful day man this is farmer Bob saying cheers take care man bye